Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It's a travel day, but right now I'm about to sit down and watch F1. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I lost 200 pounds, found love was running, and now I'm trying to live out this life I possibly can while being a mom. So yes, first racing and then, uh, first F1 racing and then we're gonna travel to my race. because I don't know I'm a little bit paranoid about wearing glasses and then not having an extra pair when something happens right now I'm trying to set up my new GoPro right here which is much heavier than the previous GoPro Willie really went in to Duncan to get my drink so I'm just waiting now don't drop it hmm? I said don't drop it don't drop it like the Starbucks incident. Oh, mommy. <laughs> so, well, it was really nice and brought me my glasses and now I got my coffee. Now it's time to go. Love you. Love you too. See you tomorrow. Why do you seem so sad? I miss both y'all. Right, I look super crusty, but we are finally ready to go. To College Station. Starting route to College Station. Proceed to Dallas Road, then turn right. We um had to make some some stops, but we got gas. We're ready to go. Time to road trip. I might actually stop at the outlet mall on the way there. Um, it's getting a little toasty. I mean, not toasty. It's getting a little frigid. Proceed not toasty. To These instructions are going to get on my nerves the entire time, but it's okay. It's time for a road trip. arrived at the outlet mall I'm only an hour away from the race which is like so totally awesome I didn't realize that it was that short of a distance so I'm gonna go run in the Vera Bradley and do like some things maybe go in the area because you know I don't need to go in there and that's what's up just want to catch you up here at the outlet mall hopefully I'll be able to find like the last little bits of presents that I need I'm actually really upset because the present that I got for my niece was misdelivered again I'm really starting to hate my um postal person because she can never ever deliver stuff this is not the first time this is not the second time this is like the 20th time that this has happened and she's all like oh well you know sometimes I get my numbers mixed up and I'm like you must get your numbers mixed up every single day because I have never ever actually like one out of ten packages is actually delivered the time that it's supposed to okay I don't want to be evil or spiteful or whatever but you know it's just she doesn't care she doesn't care it's so bad that Amazon flagged my account let's just say that all right shopping we go
did not find anything at the Alamal. I spent like an hour and a half there. Almost bought a backpack from Vera Bradley, but then I decided that paying $75 for a backpack. Uh, first off, the backpack was 70% off and it was still $70, which was a bit ridiculous. I'm good, how are you? I'm four zero zero eight. Four zero zero eight? Gosh, what's going size, male or female? Um, the bag's got jumbled up, so. I had a male, uh, male uh, um, medium. Medium? Okay. Yeah, thank you. I just found my confirmation. But I Sorry about that. Um, well, that was chaotic. Oh, all right. And he gave me the wrong shirt size, but. It makes me upset. Whatever. I don't really care about the shirts. All right, I have now made it to the hotel and I got lost for no reason, but hey, I'm here now. So now I'm the chick with the most of stuff ever, so I have to get it out of the car. So, <laughs> and hopefully they'll give me a late checkout. And I know I'm definitely in no mask land, so this is gonna be very interesting. Comment down below if you want. Do you still wear a mask? Because like, that's why I don't vlog when I'm out in public because I do wear a mask, so. But you know, like for me, sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable going places because like some places, like when I go and travel, some places are totally anti-mask and then like people look at you funny. But um, and then other places that you go and then everyone has on a mask. So I just, you know, I guess it's just different for every place that you go. Okay, I'm staying at a different type of hotel right now, and I can already tell you that I'm not going to want to stay at one of these ever again. I'm staying at a True by Hilton, and it's one of their lower budget friendly hotels, and it's cute, but it's not for me. So, I'll just give you a little tour. When you come in, here's the bathroom right here. I mean, the bathroom is nice, very big. Very spacious. Look, there's a toilet. Yes. And then, hello, in the mirror. Little place to hang your stuff. And here's the room. It's very, like, it's very basic. It doesn't look comfortable. Look, here's your closet right here. Yes, I got my bags in the way. Little night table. I mean, Oh, yeah. Kind of just reminds me of uh, college dorm life, whatever. Maybe I'm just being a little bit picky, but yes. Yeah, so and here's there's your desk right there, and your TV. The TV is awfully large for this space, but I'm probably just being a little bit picky. But this is not this is not usually my vibe. But I'm trying to be cost effective, and I know I wasn't going to be here that long. And it was just kind of big. Yes, Ryan. I got it. <laughs> Won't make a mistake today. I'm buying it all. I don't know which one to get. Guess where I just came back from? Yes, I went to Target and this time I did not hesitate to buy the things that I wanted to buy from the Lego collection. That Target had so much more stuff than our Target at home did, but I find that to be pretty standard wherever I go. Um, so I finally used my gift card and I did buy some stuff. I was trying to decide between uh, these two backpacks and all this so whatever I just bought bought it and ugh, I just bought it and if 
it doesn't fit my computer, which I'm gonna take it up to my hotel room and see if it fits. Um, if not, then I'll just take it back, you know, and that's just the world that I'm living in right now. Um, it is five o'clock. I feel like I've lived an entire day right now. I'm picking up IHOP to eat because now it's starting to get very cold. Like you can feel the chill in the air. It's very windy and I don't want to go out again. So I got some water. I'll give you a little target haul when I get back. And then I'm going to get my race stuff together first to make sure that I have everything just in case I need to go back out again. And then I'm going to eat. I'm going to edit and that's going to be the end of vlogmas day 11 while i am sitting here i am going to talk about the race a little bit I'm, I'm starting to think that it might be a little bit of a shit show excuse my language here um earlier in the week they had sent out an, an email about um no matter uh, like you get your names printed on your bibs well i didn't because i registered pretty late i didn't register until like three weeks ago maybe a month ago um but they said someone messed up so it doesn't matter the name on your bib your bib number is still registered to the to your name so I guess if your name is Matt your bib might say Tiffany and you know that might be upsetting to people who are running their first marathon but whatever I kind of let it slide but after the um the show of packet pickup uh, you know he's they're just showing me that they're kind of not organized which is really odd because this is one of the top rated races in Texas and I've run this race before I run the marathon out here and I loved it and I was kind of hoping to come back to get that same type of experience but I just don't know if it's gonna happen so my main focus is to get in get out get back home <laughs> so I have a very busy week ahead of me that is filled with travel so I want to get in get out do the best that I possibly can and you know enjoy what I can and get back home because I'm kind of missing home right now <laughs> that's kind of funny give a little target haul so sorry my hair is messed up i'm shooting this on my new gopro by the way so, i went and got the lego bag that i picked up but didn't buy the other day yes my computer does good in this so conundrum and then i got this backpack which is cute and functional and it does fit my computer also so conundrum and I got tiny tot some tights more leather stuff in the entry I got this little pouch thing to put stuff in I have no use for it but I thought it was so cute I'll find something for it I, I like these little pouches because I put tons of different things in there body poof because I forgot one chapstick because I need one in my running pack more running tights, I mean more running tights, more, uh, these are any socks for Tiny Talk. And I got some sugar-free syrup for my pancakes from for IHOP and some water. So that's all that I got. Just going back on what I said about the race, I really do hope that everything works out for the best and there are no problems and all of that. So I'm super, super excited to be here, to be running. I'm, I'm glad that it's gonna be cooler than the races previously and yeah i'm excited but i'm also very tired so that's what i'm gonna end today's video that's all i got for you honestly it was a travel day i had a good day so that's all i can ask for tomorrow race day so you know what tomorrow's vlog is gonna be so um thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up comment down below something i don't know hello hi and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.